What is up you guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna and I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. So I'm going to start off by setting a base for my eyeshadow and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige. So after I get that blended out, I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques sponge and I'm going to set that concealer with the Air Spun and Translucent. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a fluffy brush. I'm going to take the Baby Blue Shadow in the Shiny Cosmetics palette. I'm going to link it down below for you guys. But I'm just going to take that and I'm going to put that in my crease, a little bit above my crease actually because once I cut my lid, I want to make sure that this blue shows through. And this is going to be the color between the brow bone color and the crease color. Okay, so on to the next shade. We're going to take that dark blue shadow and we're going to put that a little bit above the crease right under that baby blue color. Again, just so that when we cut the crease, you can see both colors. I wanted all the colors to really pop so you will see me go back and just add more shadow and kind of deepen the colors a few times just to make sure that that color is very very vibrant. So I'm going back in with that first baby blue shadow and I'm just going over the work I just did just to make sure that both colors are blending together and it's going to transition nicely to the brow bone color. For the brow bone color, I'm taking the lightest shade in the Morphe 3503 palette and I'm just applying that and blending the two shades together. You guys don't have to be neat with this at all. We're going to go in and clean it up once we're done and yeah, so we're just going to do that and then we're going to start to cut the crease. So again, I'm going in with that dark blue color and I'm going back into the crease just to again make it a little bit more vibrant and make sure that it's really, really pigmented and we can see it very well. So before I apply the concealer again to do the cut crease, I'm just going to take a clean, what is this called? A clean, what is this called? Oh my goodness, I, it's, I'm going completely blank. Q-tip, okay. So we're gonna take a Q-tip. I wet it with the Mario Badescu spray and I'm just gonna carve out my lid so that when we put the concealer on, none of that shadow from before interrupts the bright colors that we're about to add on the lid. So I'm again taking that same concealer we used in the beginning, the Creamy Beige by LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I'm going to carve out my lid. Y'all, I literally just put the product on there and I'm making the brush do all the work. And we're going to turn our brush to the side and kind of flick out the ends so that once we set this concealer, it'll blend nicely once we go back in with that blue. I am not a professional guys, okay? I'm just playing around with my makeup, but if I can do this, I know you can too. So don't be frustrated with yourself if you don't get it the first time. Just keep trying and trying and you will get it. So this lime green color is in the Zulu by Juvia's Place palette. I'm going to pack that on the lid and then I'm also going to pack on the teal color in the Zulu by Juvia's palette in the inner corner.
Okay guys, so we are almost done with the eyes. I'm gonna take that dark blue and I'm going to work that in my outer corner. And I'm just going to blend it at a slant angle just so that the green and the blue mesh together. And you can also take that baby blue, well the dark blue on a smaller brush and go around the crease area just to make it super defined and just to make sure that that blue pops. Okay, so I'm just taking a makeup wipe and I'm removing all of the excess powder that fell on the face. That's why it's best to do this before you do your foundation because there is a lot of fallout. So yeah, I'm just going in and cleaning that up. So next, I'm going to be winging my eyeliner with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black. And then I'm also going to be putting mascara on and this one is by e.l.f. It's the Length and Volume Mascara. So now we're moving on to the face. I'm taking the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser just to prime my face. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And this is the color 368. For concealer and contour, I'm going in with the 16 hour camel concealer by e.l.f. And the highlighter is in deep cinnamon and the contour is in ebony. To set that concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this one is in 35. And then to set that contour, we're going in with the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Powder. To mattify my face a little bit more, I'm going in with the Airspun Translucent and I'm just setting that around the places that I tend to crease the most. And then we're going to go in with the Milani Pressed Powder and kind of just blend everything together and make sure we don't have any excess powder on our face. To set my brows in place, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Brow Gel and this one's in the color Espresso, just to make sure there's no powder on my eyebrows. And then we're gonna go in with that first dark blue shade and we're gonna put that on the outer corner. And then with a more detailed brush, we're gonna go in with the Zulu palette and we're gonna go in with that teal and put that in the inner corner. The highlighter I'm using today is by Maybelline. The packaging is so old guys, I can't even read it. <laughs> but I will link it down below for you guys. And then I'm just gonna set my face with the Maybelline Fix and Go. And then I'm just adding some mascara to my bottom lash line. For the lips, I'm just lining it with a dark brown, any dark brown will do. And then in the middle, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lingerie Gloss in the color Butter. 
so that is going to wrap up this makeup look guys i really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe also leave me a comment down below and of course like the video i will see you in my next video Music, nappy boy, I know the club.